Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and in today's video we will discuss about the advantages of object oriented programming. Ok, so here I have listed down advantages of object oriented programming and we will just try to understand uh, the advantages with the help of these points. Ok, so now let us start with the first point. Uh, object oriented programming provides better conceptualization and modeling in using real world objects. Ok, in the earlier videos itself uh, we have discussed that we are using real world objects here in object oriented programming and we since we know them better that's why it helps us in conceptualizing the problem we can come to a better solution we can make a model of that problem and that conceptualization and modeling can helps us in understanding the problem in a better way so now next advantage is programmer can easily understand the code code written using object oriented programming is so organized that user will never find any difficulty in understanding the code. Next advantage is it provides better way of representing the code. In object oriented programming we are representing the code uh, in the form of classes where we are separating our specification with the implementation that gives the user better way of understanding the code. Next point, easily maintains the code. So in object oriented programming, code is been written in such a way that if at any point of time, if we want to search any of the functionality, then we can easily find out it. Then we can easily get that functionality and we can easily maintain, we can easily make corrections in the code. Next point, uh, performance gets improved. One of the reason behind using object oriented programming is reusability. Object oriented programming increases reusability. Okay, we here in this approach we are reducing the work of writing the same code again and again, which decreases the number of lines of code. When we are developing the applications by writing less number of codes, automatically the performance of that application or the performance of the program gets improved. Next point, same code can be used in multiple projects that is reusability gets improved. As I have said that uh, reusability is one of the important factor of object oriented programming. We can make use of the code which we have written for other projects. We can make use of that code and we can implement that code in our current project uh, which increases the reusability factor for our project. Same code can be used in multiple projects that is reusability gets improved. Okay, So as I have said that one of the important factor of object oriented programming is reusability. Okay? We can make use of the code which we had written for other project okay, and we can use it in our current project as well. Next point is easily separates code specification and implementation. Okay, So here in object oriented programming we write the code using the concept of class and inside the class how we organize our code is we make different sections for our requirement specification and we made different section for implementation of our functions okay, which gives us better control on our code we can easily understand the code and we can easily get to specific portion of the code okay so it's um, now it becomes easier for us to trace our code okay so that is possible because of object oriented programming and this object oriented programming has given us a way where we can separate our requirements with the implementation Next point, it supports best coding practices. Okay, so here using object oriented programming, our approach of writing the code gets improved. Okay, day by day, we will get improved with our coding practices. Next point, errors can be detected and handled efficiently. Okay? So, here in object oriented programming, they provide concepts like throw, catch. Here, Object oriented programming is efficient enough in detecting the errors and it has certain features with which we can handle those errors efficiently. Next point, better control and security on data members and member functions. In object oriented programming we have the concept of access modifier or we can call it as access specifier like public, protected and private. Okay, so these 
access modifiers allows us to secure our code we can restrict certain part of our code which we don't want to get access from unauthorized user okay we by using this access modifiers we can secure our data members and member functions next point code written in object oriented programming can be easily extended with new requirements so one of the important feature of object oriented programming is that we can keep on adding new and new feature as and when new requirement arises and this object oriented programming is flexible enough uh, in allowing the user making these new changes in the program okay so today we write the program with current requirements and it may happen that tomorrow requirement might get changed and we have to write the program according to the new requirements okay so object oriented programming helps us instead of writing the same code once again we can easily make changes into the existing code okay uh, with that we are reducing a lot of our time then last point is easy efficient and compact coding okay so here the here it's easy for the programmer to write the code okay and uh, the whatever programming whatever code will be writing whatever applications we will be developing with object oriented programming those applications will be efficient and we will be writing less code for developing that functionality for our projects okay so these are some of the advantages of object oriented programming okay so i hope you understood each and every advantage of object oriented programming and that's all for this video guys if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching